perfect Sunday All the blue is We looked happy But I was going through it yeah. All my senses Really no way Said to end it But I Hey Um Let's talk <laughs> I mean This angle first of all is so weird But no worries I like it And the lighting is perfect Yep <laughs> And um I just want to say that I am stressed I mean, this kind of time, I mean this period of our entrance exam is like, I don't know what to say, but it's like, you know, you're living in stress. The stress is like saturated. You just cannot go a day without stressing out or freaking out about something. I mean, I don't know how. Um, question myself um, when I am even like gonna be stress free I know people say that it's just up to us and I mean it just stress. I mean you cannot control it sometimes and it's like you just cannot control it I mean, okay, I, I I know, like, I don't know how many of you can relate to this or not, but yes, it, it is stressful, I mean, it is bad. <laughs> and I just hope that we all go through this and stay alive. I mean, sorry, survive. <laughs> that we, we all should stay alive, yes. Um, I meant survive through it in a better way. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Ah, okay, I mean, I talked way too much and um, yes, let's just continue the video now. Hey there, welcome back to my channel and today I want to talk about something which I am sure many of you can relate to, feeling exhausted by academics. That is what we are diving in today. Dragging through studies, trust me, I've been there too. First of all, let's recognize the signs. It's not just about feeling tired physically, it's also mental fatigue, lack of motivation, and overall feeling of being drained and being overwhelmed. You know those days when even the thought of opening your textbook feels like climbing a Mount Everest? Oh yeah, those are the days. And let's not forget the endless cycles of lectures. It feels like we watch the same thing over and over again but yet we know nothing. That emptiness inside. <laughs> Sometimes I just wonder if I'm ever gonna escape this cycle. And perhaps the worst part is losing passion and interest in what you're studying. Subjects that used to ignite a spark in you now feel like damp matches. You know what? It's heartbreaking to see that enthusiasm fade away. Sometimes it just feels like I am suffocating under this pressure. It's just the loop which continues and which seems never ending. Well, yeah, that is suffocating. Oh my God. Yeah, it is. And of course, all this takes a toll on your mental health. There are days when I feel like I am barely holding it together. Remember, we have to prioritize our mental health. Certainly, mental health struggles related to academic exhaustion are significant and worth elaborating. Um, the mental health struggles could include that increased anxiety levels or increasing in negative self-talk which impacts on your sleep, 
and losing interest in your hobbies and you know that sense of being overwhelmed all the time well you have to recognize these and try to work on these well let's remember it's okay to not be okay um i know this is like the most cliche thing i've heard and even i question the same thing which you are questioning now that is till when can a human be not okay and being okay with not being okay i mean how can how long can a human be just answer me that but it's crucial to find balance and coping strategies whether it's taking breaks getting outside or practice mindfulness for me taking a walk in nature meditating and working out and also playing badminton really helps me clear my mind Take time to reflect on how you're feeling and reach out for support if you need it. Talking to friends, family or even writing it down on a piece of paper can make a world of difference. And if you are academically exhausted, don't worry me, you are not alone as this is a common struggle and um, just remember to take breaks and take care of yourself, prioritize yourself and just you know it is just fine to take a step back when you feel not being okay and yeah that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and you felt this video being relatable and yep yeah, always take care of yourself i'll be meeting you in the next video till then bye bye take care stay safe also remember that it's okay to fall behind the thing which matters the most is how strong your comeback is um yeah you also have to remember that uh, yeah okay bye bye thinking of you thinking of you